You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video. And by Utech, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey gang, welcome back to our continuing coverage of CES 2015. I'm John P. And I'm Georgia. And we have all kinds of more uh, goodies coming up for the rest of the show. We've got giveaways for you guys. If you head over to geekme.tv forward slash giveaways. And we have another special guest actually here on behalf of Olympus. We've got Richard, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me today. So we've got, uh, you've got a particular toy in, in your hand. Tell us about yes. the, uh, the gadget, the, the, the new camera you brought with you. Well, this is our OMD EM1. It's the flagship of our OMD product family, which actually has three members currently. We've got an entry level EM10, EM5, and this guy, the EM1, the flagship. It's very, very capable product, ready to go anywhere, and as you can see, it's a very, very, it's not only a capable camera, it's, it's very, very portable. Compact. And the entire yeah, system small. is portable. Yes. So let's tell people a little bit about it, uh, about the range, just to, just for those. Uh, Ken over here, our engineer, is a huge Olympus fan. I mean, he loves, he loves shooting your stuff. But let's give people a little update on them. So why choose, why choose any of the, of the units in the range here? Sure. The OMD family actually is, they are, excuse me, they're mirrorless products. So you can see the body is a lot thinner. It doesn't have a reflex mirror in here that adds, uh, you know, a good, good inch or so of yeah. uh, depth to the body of the camera. So it's extremely light, extremely portable, compared to some of, you know, the older reflex legacy designs. It's about, gee, it can be sometimes half the weight of an SLR reflex camera, and as you can see, it's about maybe 30% smaller in terms of volume. So. You know, the old saying goes, the best camera you have is, you know, the, the one, one you got with you, with you right? Yeah. 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 So I've got this guy set up today with our uh, 12 to 40 Pro lens. This is our first uh, lens in the Pro lineup. This is a, uh, gives us an equivalent focal length of 24 to 80 millimeter. So it's a real nice, nice angle of view, nice focal length, all around lens, you know, from wide angle to, you know, getting a nice portrait with yeah. about an 80 millimeter equivalent focal length. It is a fixed aperture lens. It's an it f2.8, so oh, it's wow. throughout the entire zoom range. It's uh, and what size sensor do we have in this body? This is a, uh, a four-thirds sensor. Okay. Now the lens mount. It's a micro four-thirds lens mount, but the sensor is in fact four-thirds size. So it's about roughly half the size of a 35 millimeter film uh, imager imager size, and that's how we can get the really nice portability mm -hmm. into this product and into into this system. Cool. Now, what are, what are the what's the relative price point? Let's say if somebody was interested in this particular body and with that lens, because that's a that's a sexy lens. It is. It is. <laughs> it's 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 all metal construction. It is weatherproof and dustproof and freeze proof as the camera really? body is. Yeah. So it complements uh, that attribute of the body, and you can take it anywhere. So huh. you can take this snowboarding, skiing. I mean, literally, you can go out in the pouring rain. It's not really? waterproof. It's not yeah. submersible, of course but it really ha has that durability. And when I say dustproof as well, because everything is not only sealed on the camera and the body, but within here, we've got our supersonic wave filter integrated in with the image stabilization unit. And that, when you turn the camera on, it automatically vibrates Shakes at it off. 30 oh, wow. hertz, or 30,000 times a second, very powerfully to make sure I mean, you know, it's an interchangeable lens camera, so yeah. you want to be able to change so lenses on the fly. You do the horrible things I do, which is like <laughs> Yeah, 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 please yeah. don't do yeah. that. <laughs> don't do it. Yeah, but yeah, you know, you, the last thing you want is to be sitting there taking sh beautiful shots all day, and then -flex. you've got that stupid dot in every one of them that you've got to go clean up, you know, if you can. I've if heard it, a lot yeah. of horror stories about yeah. that, because uh, you know, when you're chimping on the back of the camera and looking at all those beautiful photos yeah. you've taken, you're not going to see that stuff. No, you no. can't. It's then, too small of a screen. Yeah, you know, you're going you know, to make you a print, or you're going to start you looking at it, and, and you're like, "This oh is boy. my favorite you, photo." Yeah. You put it in your new 5K uh, iMac thing, and then you're like, "Oh <laughs> God." <laughs> no. Anyway, okay. So the price point on this one? Uh, the body is uh, $12.99, and the lens, this lens on here that I've got on here right now, is is $9.99. Okay, so under 2,500 bucks for the whole thing. Yes. Now we talked a little bit about that particular unit, and 
Uh, I believe you've got some other functionality built in that we've not touched on yet. We talk about getting pictures into it, but how about getting pictures out of it? Very good question, because connectivity is really the big thing today. You know, you've got technivity, connectivity excuse me, with smart devices, but you, know, you don't have the image quality, and while we know that people, you know, a lot of young people are you know, moving to smart devices to take photographs with, they're going to, a lot of them are going to become passionate about photography and they're going to max out with those devices, so they're going to look for a true photographic tool. Mm -hmm. However, they want to be able to share that. That's yeah. right. Whether it's a yeah. still or a video. And this camera, of course, does have built-in Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is great, okay, so you can you know, connect to a smartphone, you can connect to a, to a tablet, but we've also got an app called the OI Share app, means Olympus Image Share app that we've got for Android and iOS, and it's a tremendous app. I can not only get the photos from the camera very easily onto the phone, I can also control it remotely. Nice. I can wow. completely control the camera remotely. Everything from every exposure parameter, I can even shoot art, uh, small movie clips, I can incorporate the art filters that are on this camera into, the, into those photos, even after they're, they're moved over to the smart nice. device. And then, once they're on my, my smart device, I can, I can push them out anywhere. And, and as you know, nowadays, with a 3G or a 4G connection, there's hardly anywhere on the planet where you're not going to be able to, you know, yeah. to do that, to, to push it, it up yeah. into the cloud and share it. Now, that's built into the actual body itself. I don't have to plug in any additional external devices in order to do all that remote controlling? Uh, that's correct. The app actually is going to communicate with the camera and, and allow you to do that. Our app is now up to version 2.4 and we've had the app out for a couple of years now and we're continuing to update it you know, with additional functionality. For instance, I can apply art filters and do all types of customization to the photo post out of the camera on my, my tablet or my smartphone, even add signatures, some like art frames, things like that. Yeah. And that's the kind of thing you're going to want to do before you push yeah. it up to Facebook or Instagram or so on right. and so forth. Right, you don't have to use another application, it's all there, you it's, can make it look it's, fabulous. It's right there on you your smartphone. You can check it and then you send it out, because if you're going to take yeah. some pictures, you want them to look great before you send them to all your friends. And we're going to continue to update that app and to come out with more apps that really allow people to really grow and enjoy photography to its fullest, but also to be social and, and to share at the same time. That's great. Awesome. Cool, well thank you for the updates. Uh, sounds like awesome stuff. Uh, where shall people go to look for these uh, new toys? Uh, please come and uh, visit us. Uh, visit our site at, at getolympus.com. Getolympus.com. As well. Check all the uh, standards as well, Adorama, b &H, all those guys for... for Absolutely, uh, they're all, all our key partners. Awesome, yeah, for sure. cool. Yeah. Thanks, Richard, we appreciate you coming by. You guys, thanks for sticking in and uh, hanging in here with us at CES. We're going to be back. We've got more cool coverage coming up, so just stay tuned. We'll be right back.